Hi guys, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. Welcome to another So Sunday. Today is Sunday, the 2nd of February, 2020. It's February. That's fast. Oh, every year kind of just goes shh and fast. I, every day I do the same thing, so maybe that's why it's the same thing over and over again. <laughs> so, uh, hey there, Becca. So, any hoo ha. I'm going to let some people get on, and for now, what I'm going to do is, okay, so you guys saw the description. It says 25 patch block. You guys know my 25 patch block series. I don't think it's called a series. I think I just post a lot of 25 patch blocks. Well, today, I'm going to make one. So for those of you who do not know what a 25 patch block is or are new to my channel, and if you are new and, you're not, and you haven't subscribed, right there, down there, subscribe, <laughs> hit the like button. And yeah, so if you don't know, it is these right here. I'm going to pick them up and show them. Hi, Judy. So this is my last one from uh, the last video. And then the video before that was this one. These are scrap projects, that a scrap project that I'm doing with all different 25 patch blocks. So here's another one. And I'll just show all of the ones I've done so far. And today I'm going to try to squeeze one in, but if I can do more than one, I will. So these are what I've been doing for the 25 patch block. I wrote like a bazillion of these. So I just need to keep making them and making them and making them until I have enough for a large, humongous jumbo quilt. So I think I got 14 so far. I'm not sure though. Hi, Laura. Yeah, I don't watch Super Bowl either. I don't even know who's in the Super Bowl. I don't pay attention to that. So these are my fun 25 patch blocks that I have been working on little by little posting videos. I totally wanted to write a book, but I'm like totally. <laughs> I, I've been talking to people and looking things up and I got some information from a publisher and it just doesn't seem like my thing. <laughs> I think I'll just teach them. <laughs> Although I should at least try to put them all in something, I guess, a book of some sort. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Linda. And the last one. So these have been really fun to make. And let me put them back in their little baggie. I've been having lots of fun with these. I'm going to throw this one out of the way. And like I said, I have a ton. I keep all my little scraps from every time I make a triangle because that's what I do. And they're all going in here because... All the scraps from the 25 patch blocks will go in here. Um, so as you can see, every single page, keep going, keep going. Lots and lots of pages, lots and lots of pages. <laughs> I don't want to spoil all of these for you guys. So there's just, I'm just scripting through. There's tons and tons of pages of these. <laughs> so today we are going to work on one. I'm just going to pull the page out make it easier and I'm gonna hold this up see right here in the corner of the screen so I'm gonna make this one it's four colors I've been having a lot of fun making these things so I'm gonna go ahead and choose four colors and start making this and I will get to reading things in a second. I'm trying to do myself quickly here. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever rushed through something. But the girls are outside playing with Scott. And he needs to go to the grocery store while the game is on. Because nobody is there. And it's the best time for him to shop. So I'm going to just go ahead and take all my lids off. These are all my tubs of two and a half inch squares. Because that is how I've been making my... 25 patch blocks is with two and a half inch squares. And I need, where did I just put it? Four colors. 
So I'm going to choose a solid for the solid pieces. We're going to go with, let's do red on this one. So I need a red. And let's do red with something that goes with red. I want it to look awesome. Oh, my goodness. There's so many choices in here. So many choices. This goes with red. Yeah, that goes with red. Now something that goes with those two. It's not, it doesn't scream at me, though, to make this fluff, but... Uh, let's see what else we have. And I'm going to try to look at the comments. Hi, Deborah. Hi, uh, did I say hi to Linda? I said hi to Linda, didn't I? Kathy. And I'm still sick, by the way. And no, these are 20 or two and a half inch um, squares of all different colors. All these box tubs are filled with two and a half inch squares. Green. Okay, that green. Okay, let's do this green. So this one will be pretty. All right, and now pink, because pink goes with those colors. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's a stripe. Don't want stripes. Uh, pink goes with the leaves, but so does white. Let's just do white. We're going to see what happens here. We'll use white. <laughs> that looks good. So this one is like a uh, like a grunge. And this one has flowers. And then a red and a white. Obviously, I don't need to hold those up because you know what red and white look like. We're going to do the four of these. Let's see what happens here. One, two, three, four. Okay, yep, that's four. I'm just going to stack these in each other for now. Put them over there. And we're going to try to put this thing together. So I need, let's see, we're going to choose the red to be that. And the blue, red is going to be with red, and blue is going to take place of the blue. I mean, green is going to take place of the blue. This is going to take place of the black. And this is going to take place of the peach. Okay. So I need peach and that, and then it'll be one of these, and I'm going to show you how I do this, and then it'll be these two, and then it'll be one of these again, and I'm going to make half square triangles, and you guys will see how I do that, and usually I count them out, but I'm trying to at least be here for a little while, <laughs> a short period of time, and then this one again. And then the next one will be this, and then this will go here, and this will go here, and here. I'm just going to lay these ones out, because that will make it be done with these ones. Okay. This will go here. Oops. This will go here. Like that. These will be next to those two. Oh man, I gotta change out my presser foot still on my machine. Give me two seconds to figure this all out real quick. This one is here. This one is here. This one is here. Oops, not that. Green. White and green, white, and then white will be in the middle. All right, those are my colors, and I'm sticking to it. So I'm gonna change out my presser foot, and I'll read some comments while I'm doing that. Hey, Teresa. Hi, Kim. Hey, Lacey. Hi, Yvonne. Oi, oi, oi. I'm trying to read. Hold on, guys. If I miss the name, it's because I'm trying to scroll up. Organization porn. <laughs> 
yeah, I'm when it comes to my pre-cuts that I make myself, I am way, way organized. I 100% have it all together. <laughs> That's just how I do it. Star, mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I forgot. I got to that crazy. We got nice Kim. Teresa. Hi, Vicky. And then I said hi to Kathy, didn't I? Yeah, Kathy's been here for a minute. And if you guys don't know, so Becca here in the chat, she is so Becca. Click on her name because I don't know how to add a link. I probably know how. I just don't know how. <laughs> um, if you click on her picture, it could take you to over to take you over to her page and go check her out. She is just like me, um, live, real, and I think I forgot two of these while I'm here. And and does sew-ins on. I forgot what day now that you changed it to, but <laughs> she, you guys, if you want, you can go join her and get her subscribers up. Um, I think I need these I two. Can't go pee to pee. Okay, go potty. Um. And join her. She does live chats as well. Um, she's very funny and kiki. <laughs> Friday evenings. There you go. So you guys just click on her name and you guys can go over to her channel and subscribe for it, you know, so you can watch her videos as well. She's awesome. I'm always over there when she's on too. All right. Let me see if I can't figure that out. Oh yeah, and she's giving away iron. So you need to be go over and subscribe so you get a chance to win. An iron on her page. She's giving away to Facebook and YouTube. So if you subscribe to Facebook, her page, you get a chance to win. As well as if you subscribe or join her Facebook group, then you also get a chance to win over there. So, and all you have to do is subscribe to her channel. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure something out real quick right before I so. And her Facebook is Becca's Babes. Just letting you know. Um, right here at YouTube. What, baby? You want to come say hi real quick? Okay, come say hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. Look, what's today? So Sunday? Yes. Say so Sunday. So Sunday. And we're going to have fun. Have fun. Yeah? yeah. Say, say, are you guys all sewing too? Yes. Ask them. Say, are you guys all sewing too? Yes. Well, guys, I just sewing too. <laughs> Bye. Okay, now go play. Close the door, please. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's going right here. Trying to do 10 bazillion things at once. Hey, Michelle. Long time no chit chat. Uh, nobody's saying that. Some people say the same thing with me. They don't believe. No, I'm talking real as in not real life. I'm talking real as in real, honest live this is how it works we feel figure it out in real life and if we screw up it's okay because we're real enough to admit that we just screwed the shit up <laughs> hi marla hi tanya trying to fix those cut and cut blocks how sweet of you took me to help back out this is what i love about sewers and quilters they help each other out the best they can well that's exactly what i do all right i'm going to do something because i don't know if i'm able to do this but we're going to see right now. Um, I never ran a bazillion things all at once on YouTube. But we're going to try something. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And look at that. I have a commercial trying to play my own video. <laughs> See if I can't figure this out. Hi, June. Mm. I don't know if that works. <laughs> Try clicking on that link if you guys don't know how to click on the picture. Oh, yes, it works. There you go, Becca. I added a link to your channel. I'll probably only be able to do that once, but at least I figured it out. Okay. Let's put this aside. So that link that I just added... That's to Becca's channel. All right, so I'm going to take all of these pieces that I paired two pieces up with, all the ones with the green and the white, and then that way I remember where they go. And I'm going to sew all these on their diagonal. 
from one side to the other. I'm just going to pair them right sides together. And I've got white thread in a stitch. And my stitching is at 2.2. Kind of have it low, but I was doing something earlier, so I wanted a tighter stitch length. Oh, and I don't have a seam ripper, so I better not mess up because I'm going to see how well you guys can see this. My seam ripper snapped all the way. It is 100% broken. <laughs> that was my last one. <laughs> so now I have no seam ripper. So I, I tell myself, no messing up. To, no messing up today. Nope. Can't happen. Not allowed. Not until I get another seam ripper. That was my last one. I have one out in the long arm, but that's my long arm one. So I'm just sewing these together, right sides together, on the diagonal from corner to corner. I'm not sewing quarter inch away from anything. I'm just sewing corner to corner because I save all my cutoffs. Yeah, oh no, that was my last one. I don't know what the hell. I came out here, I sat down, and I couldn't find it. I needed to rip something. I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And then Becca on her channel found out something from another subscriber that is on my channel too, telling her how to use it properly. I guess we were all clueless and didn't know how. So I was like, well, I have a couple things that I need to fix. Why not try it? And I came in here, couldn't find it. I looked, it was under here, but one of the kids must've took it and it must've broke on them. And the pieces are probably on the floor. Uh, it was broken and I was like, well, how am I supposed to try this now? There's no ball and there's no tip. It was completely broke, so. That was my last one, blaming it on the kids, because I didn't know where it was, so sometimes things happen. I am making 25 patch block. I'll come hold up the picture in a second to the edge of the screen so you can know which one I'm making. I just figured to do this today because I'm quick with the 25 patch blocks. So, well, normally when I'm not chatting, chatting away. Okay, so as soon as I get this on, I will trim away all my excess and then press them. And I didn't even plug my iron in because I'm. I was behind. I was like, it's five. I'm going to go turn everything on and go on. <laughs> you guys know me. I'm not on time for anything. <coughs> I was going to load the frame. I was going to load the frame, too, and I haven't. I got everything ready to load the long arm, and I haven't done that yet. So this is which one I'm making. Obviously not in those colors. Green is taking place of this. Red is still red. This will be the flower print, and this is going to be white. So that's what I'm making. It's one of my 25 patch blocks. I have a bazillion I can do, so might as well start getting them done. All right, I'm going to cut a quarter inch away from all of these. And remember, I saved my ends. You guys don't have to, but I do. And I use a ruler to do so, so that I can save everything. And I just line a quarter inch seam up on the um, ruler and cut away. And I just keep them nicely stacked because that way I can put them together in a little while. Because I'm going to make hourglasses with all of them, all my little scraps. I like to have fun with it and make all sorts of things. Okay, those are all cut. Let's press these. I'll be at the iron for two seconds, but I'll tip it so you guys can see me right here. I'm going to press to the dark. I can get my finger in there. And the cool part about um, sewing on the line as opposed to the side of the line, making um, half square triangles the other way, is I have no dog ears to cut off. So there's no extra trimming to do. Just fold them back and press. 
And I'm going to go put them back in their place and make the next ones. I had to take out a different iron because uh, Squeak was annoying Scott the other night. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm back to using an iron that don't make any noise. Okay, let's, let's put these the way they're supposed to go. So that way I do not forget, since I tend to forget really easily. Faces out. White faces up. White faces up. Faces up. And, and over. Okay, so that's so far. Those are all in the position I want those. The cool part about these blocks that I'm making is that um, you could also make a ton of these of all the same one over and over and over again. Like take one of the blocks that I've made that's um, uh, like uh, six colors, six different colors, and make it over and over and over again using two and a half inch strips or something and come down two and a half inch squares and make that same block over and over again. And some of them I've made to where when you hook the corners together and flip a block, it becomes, and flip a block down and flip a block down and put four together, it creates a pinwheel in between. So some of them have been made to do that. Um, and you can adapt these to any size square. So if you want to make a big quilt and use 25, um, make 25 patches out of uh, five inch squares, you can do that as long as you have enough of each color, you know, which I was kind of thinking about doing, but I don't have the time today to make a big one and make a big, huge quilt, but they're all adaptable to any size square that you want to use. I just so happen to be using two and a half inch squares because I have a shitload of them. <laughs> All right, I'm probably missing a lot. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna scroll up pretty far to where I entered the thing. So we got little B cross. Hello from Mesa, Arizona. Oh my god, I have someone from Arizona here. <gasps> <laughs> Welcome. I don't have anybody else in Arizona here. Well, not that I know of. Not that I can remember. I have people that have family that live in Arizona. We haven't had many Arizonans. So that's awesome. <coughs> Besides the people I know that live here, obviously. <coughs> uh, I'm going to go set up at my machine. Okay, Becca. I'll be here. Hi, Diane. Uh, hi, Tammy. How am I feeling? I'm back from my mom's. So happy to see me. I am still sick, <coughs> as you can tell. I'm trying to hold back. I'm on nebulizer. I'm on <coughs> lots of medicine. <coughs> and I'm just trying to get better myself without um, too many issues along the way. I'm trying. Lots of cough medicines, so on and so forth. Hi, Lisa. Is that Lisa or Lessa? Just curious. Um, and I'm making a 25 patch block. Mm. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Vicky. Mm. Hi, June. Missing, been missing. Okay, I saw that. Did I say hi to Kim? No, I probably did because it's been there for a while. The stain window won't stop dripping. I got two towels folded and four in butter bowls to catch the drips. I hope you can get that fixed soon, Vicky. That's got to be so annoying listening to the drippings. Let alone cleaning up the water mess all the time. All right, let me finish sewing these and I'm going to... Um, trim these and then go over and press these as well. Mm. 
Okay. All right. Let me trim all these off. And I don't even bother now anymore these days on seeing what side of the block lines up better than the other side. I kind of just go ahead and trim away one side because they, they're pretty equal. I mean, I cut all these myself, so it should be pretty good. Everything should be nice and the same size. Okay. And I'm going to also press these towards the green, which is considered my dark color. And then these will go in my little pouch when I'm finished. All right, so let me go press these to the dark. Take you to the ironing board with me for a second. I'm going to just press them towards the green, which is my dark color here. I don't even bother um, pre-warming the seams or setting the seams, however everyone says it. Not with these. They're so little, they fold back pretty darn easily, and there's no um, not much stretching happening. Okay, so now I'm going to lay these in the way they go. So red is red, so I'm going to make sure that they go the way my direction shows. So we're going to add all these. Oops, yeah. Those two go there, like that. That comes there, that goes there. That will be there. Hold on. Oh, that was that. I knew I was doing something wrong. There we go. So we're going to make it up close. You guys can see how this is going to play out. So that's going to be up. That's going to be down. When I'm saying up and down, I'm referring to one specific color, and that would be the red this block. This one is down, up, down, and then the last one is up. It's like a Christmas block. Look at that. <laughs> all right. So you guys have seen me do this a bazillion times. I am now going to keep them all in the proper orientation and try not to move anything. I might be able to get two done today. Let's see. Check my time soon. <coughs> I always start with, for these 25 patch blocks, I start with a two and a half inch square with another two and a half inch square and sew diagonally from corner to corner. Let me see I'm allergic to poinsettias and had waiting room, one big beautiful plant. I love them, but I was allergic to touch. You gotta get better. Got over mine. They have semi rehab, but I know that to tell. So I just had a couple two weeks, felt better. I moved to my room. Shut up and sick ever since. Did I miss saying hi, Marla? Or are you guys just saying hi to each other? Okay. So you guys remember how I do this, right? I keep them all in front of me in the order they're supposed to be. I even check my picture one more time and go correct 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 yep 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 everything looks to be correct correct yep 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 <laughs> you guys like my yips yep 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 <laughs> all right so now that they are i know for a fact in the correct position i'm gonna take second row put it on top of the first row don't twist, don't turn, don't shift anything. Just put one row on top of the other. And then I'm going to put my quarter inch little chingo bobber on so that I don't have to change out my sewing foot again. You guys know me, I have a hard time with this following a quarter inch seam and staying on mark. <laughs> and now I'm gonna start with piece number one. And I'm just going to chain piece this row through. Leave it there. Grab the next. Stick it under. Leave it there. Grab the next. 
I'm always, I stack the second row onto the first row and I always sew down to the right side. Bring the next. Leaving everything on the machine. Okay, and then I'm going to finger press one seam to the right, the next seam to the left, the next one to the right, the next one to the left, and the next one to the right. So it goes right, left, right, left, right. Okay, and now I'm going to take the next row, grab that next piece, and add it on, keeping everything still together. Don't shift or anything, just pick it up, put it right sides together with the previous piece. So I uh, contacted YouTube for those of you who are wondering why my camera is still horrible. I cannot use um, YouTube people, the helper people that helped me went through and went through and went through. I can put community posts and things like that on now. Um, maybe I'll start using that in the future, but um, I was like, I want my live stream. I'm past a thousand subscribers. Why isn't it, you know, working? So finally, one of the guys got back to me and um, he said that the reason why it's not working is because I just hit a thousand subscribers. I'm like, yeah, well, it went quick. And um, I just hit a thousand subscribers and it could take several weeks. That's what the email says, several weeks for it to um, activate my live streaming from mobile. So I like rushed this whole time to get to a thousand subscribers only to have to wait and wait and wait some more. So I'm still hooked together, guys. Okay. I pressed my seams right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I think I said that enough times. Now I'm going to add the next row without twisting or turning anything. Just bringing it up to me right sides together. Hope this block looks really cool. Should. But yeah, I'm still waiting, so I can't go live from any of my other devices yet. I've been checking every day just to make sure. I check twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. No point in checking if it didn't work, you know, a bazillion times. So annoying. I'm just ready to have better video quality. <laughs> so I'm going to finger press these. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And again, you can use an iron if you want when you guys make these kind of blocks, but there's a point you're sitting right here and finger pressing works just as good as anything else. Linda's making an apron. Awesome. What virus? Wait, wait, wait. Probably some weird virus. June. Hi, June. Lit. She likes my blocks. Um, Maria, hi. Um, so be careful about it. Let's stay home ever since. Linda, she'll love it. June. No, it means constant. Kim's been staying home so I can get well, but I have to get out tomorrow. No choice. I'm going to say I'm going to be sure I'm going to be okay. All right. So now I'm just going to do this last row, right sides together on here. And just sew these next ones on. So yeah, I was like frustrated with YouTube. They can reset and start other services, but they can't make my live work. It just naturally starts working when it starts working. So I'm like, whatever. Guess I'll just live with it for now. But you guys love me enough to come and hang out anyway, whether my camera is horrible or not. <laughs> All right, so. How it goes, they are all webbed together, hooked together, can't get them lost, can't mess it up. I just threw it across the room, and guess what? 
it is still together. <laughs> so now I'm going to take row one and row two, put them right sides together, and sew those together. And since I finger pressed the seams, everything should nest up nicely, um, opposite directions. Again, you don't really need to go to the iron until everything is 100% done. Should just go and everything should lay. They're all the blocks are the same exact size. So everything should lay nicely. And for those that are new to this, I have lots of 25 patch videos. This one will just get added to the playlist. There's a playlist of it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> She's outside my window yelling. <laughs> How cute. I said hi. All right, so I'm just putting row two onto row three now. Just lining it up as I go, and my iron is talking to me. All right, and I just finger press. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it the whole side so three. And two still open. I'm just going to turn it this way now and put these two on this side. I like to do it with them on the bigger side. I think it works easier for me. Whatever makes sense, I guess, to you. It wasn't sewing, so I had to break thread for a second. So I'm just finger pressing for now. All the seams are just going in the same direction. Last piece on. And everything should be pressed and lay nicely and match up nicely. And if my machine tray didn't flip my seam, then Wrong way, this would probably go faster. And look at that, I ran out of bobbin, like literally an inch and a quarter away from the edge. Good thing I keep a ton winded next to me. Actually, underneath my sewing machine. So it works easier. Hi, Anna. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think YouTube has more powers than their supports let on. Oh, yes, definitely, Becca. I know they do because the first guy that I was talking to with the support, he's like, oh, yeah, I'll get that fixed. But then the second guy that came to me, and the first guy was talking with me for like four days. The second person that comes on says, oh, no, we can't do that. You know? It just happens when it happens. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm, sure, whatever you say. So, yeah, we'll have to wait on that one. Hi, Terry. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, June, still learning less from something else. Three cents, Kentucky, Anna. I said hi, Anna, right? I think I did. <laughs> I'm reading from the bottom up. I mean, from the top down. It's rolling down. Hi, Laura. I think I probably said hi already, but I don't remember all the names that are in here. All right, so here's this. I'm going to press it real quick. That's why I only held it up for two seconds. <laughs> I'm like literally sort of in the screen, but sort of not in the screen. Just right here. And I kind of pressed a wrinkle in it already because... Hitting my seam. Stay. All right. Here we go. It should look. I turn one wrong. I think one might be wrong, but I think it's not. No, I think it's right. Yep, okay. And there we have it. Doesn't all look so cool? The red looks like pink on the screen, I know. 
but they all go with the colors that are in there. Can you see those colors? I can't really see them that well, but when I'm looking at the screen, I mean, but there's that. So this one turned out really awesome, huh? <laughs> I definitely have a lot of fun with these. So here's the picture again. And here is my rendition of it. I have no idea what you just said. Okay. Oh, in some screens, like the screen I'm looking at, it you can't tell. So that's why I said it looks kind of pink. What? Your tummy don't feel good. What? Well, well we're going to get off of here anyway. I made my block, so... And it's already been 40 minutes. So it took me 40 minutes to put this together, guys. So I got it done. Um, I'll show you. Ooh. Grab this real quick. So all those little pieces that I save, I just throw them in here. I'll sew them together later. Not right now, but I'll keep all the groupings together because I'm kind of trying to keep groupings together of colors because of the way I'm sewing them. So from previous blocks, this is what I'm making. So from all my Hi. previous. Welcome to my quilting show. <laughs> Welcome to her quilting show. Triana's a silly butt. So these are the things that I'm making. Little hourglasses. And this will make a whole entire second project. Welcome to my new stuff. Welcome to your new stuff. I'm going to try it on the screen. Yeah, you're going to do it on the screen. All right, so I'm going to read some comments, I guess, while. Uh, Jasmine, come back. Um, I'm probably going to miss some comments, guys. Oh, and I'm checking off all the ones I've done for video Please, purposes. Hey, stop. You messed up my screen. Now I have to go back and find it. Yeah, a block. Yeah, that's another block. I haven't made that one yet. Why? All right. 30 miles south. So pretty, cute. Hold on. No touch all tippy stuff. Because you guys keep breaking things. Um, what do you got? Your new, my new bobbin cases are actually for the one uh, for the long arm out there in the garage. Because it seemed like I had this big, huge thread mess out there. And there we go. <laughs> I waste too much thread off the long arm because I just kind of throw bobbins, you know, and. Hold on, I'm trying to talk. Be... And I was thinking that would be the best way to clean up. So now it's all cleaned up and I have pre-rolled bobbins ready for whatever I want to use them for. When I on the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ironically having the same thing got approved for monetization the same day. Interesting. Got a request back. Magically I hit four. Hey, watch hours and like two days later I was monetized and could stream from my iPhone using a third party app. I'm not trying to use any third party apps. So that's probably why. And I tried using it but it doesn't stream to my channel. I had uh, Streamlabs on um, my cell phone and it doesn't go to my channel. It signed up for my channel but every time I pressed the go live and did the test it went straight to where I don't know because I go to my channel and I look and look and look and I refresh and nothing's there. So I don't know why it doesn't work for me. Hi, Patty. So back at holy cow, you're best. Yeah. Um, normally these are made actually faster than that. Um, I sew really fast. I'm a fast sewer. You'll learn that with everybody from here. I'm quick. Going to make so, that one i love this one well you'll have to i'll take pictures and put it in the group for those of you who are new to my channel after my email in in the description below after my email the first link goes to the facebook group so join that and that's where still shots will be and i'll try to do this whole community post thing and post a picture i guess let's see if that will work i don't even know how that works but i'll try since i've never done it before um, 
Everyone's saying hi to you. I'm scrolling past. Yeah, are you going to stand up and say hi? Yes. Stand up and say hi to everybody. Make sure they can see you on the camera. Hi. And all of you, for those of you who had just joined, uh, you guys could see So Becca right here. Join her channel. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. Uh, she's pretty awesome, just like me. We're uh, having fun with it. We're just doing this for fun. So go ahead and check over her. Check out her channel by clicking on her little picture, and or the link somewhere in the chat because I'm not going to add it again. So, <laughs> but you guys got to go check out So Becca. Welcome to my new water bottle. Welcome to your new water bottle. Is that your new thing now? I thought this was your quilting life. Your yeah, quilting okay. show. Didn't you say it was your quilting show? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to hold this up one more time for today's block. That was today's block. Here, if you want to take a screenshot, here's the direction for it. You can adapt the colors that you want, so you can screenshot mm -hmm. that if you want. And I'll be posting still photos in the Facebook group. And that's that. And now I have another one to add to my lovely stack that I showed in the beginning. So look at that. Lots and lots of 25 patches. I'm getting there. I need enough for a king size. Even though I have a queen size bed, I don't have any king size anything in my house. But I just like how a king size quilt drapes over a queen size bed. <laughs> so here's my block here's my book and you guys will see more in the future um little by little these aren't an everyday post kind of thing because i'll run out too fast there's like 80 of them i think all together so other than that i'm gonna get off of here take care of kids so that scott can go to the grocery store while everyone's still watching the darn game and uh let's see anybody else say anything mm -mm. All right. Yes, we will do this again next week. It's an every Sunday thing around 5 p.m. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just Me not too. on the dot with things. Uh, <laughs> I can't yeah. always be there on time. You guys know me. I'm scatterbrained. So I try my best to get around 5 p.m. every Sunday. My time, Arizona time, since we don't switch time like all you guys out there. So, all right. Well, I will see you guys next Sunday as well as maybe throughout the week I'll do an insomniac episode. So I was going to come on the other night and I just didn't get a chance to because that right there, I did a breathing treatment said, I'm going to stay in bed if I did. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I love you all. And I thank you for joining and don't forget if you're new to my channel, subscribe, like, share, and bye. say bye. Bye. Say bye, Chana. Bye, Chana. No, not you. You say bye to everybody. I was just telling you to say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye bye. Bye, bye buddies. Bye buddies. Say bye bye. Good day. You see me. See you guys next time. Enjoy your day. You see me on the Sunday.